Hey, my loves, this is Bella Dutch from All Seeing Eye Tarot. Back again, once again, I got to do the Aries reading all over. I thought I was recording, y'all, and when my daughter called, it just cut it completely off. So I'm going to start all over again. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of February 2020. All right, I hope everything is angled, y'all. All right, so this is not going to resonate with everyone. If it does not resonate, definitely check your moon and rising sign. Um, also, do remember, Aries, that you automatically qualify because you are a fire sun sign. You qualify for the discounted rate on the spiritual analysis. That reading was so deep for Aries, I'm really, really pissed off that I did not get it in. Okay, I'm, I'm really pissed, but we'll see if it comes back up. Okay, it should come back up. All right, so here we go. Spirit and Universe, what are the messages you have for the zodiac sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising? In the first position, tell me any secrets that Aries lover is keeping from them. Also, I need to see the current status. Well, let me see a little bit of the history of the relationship in that first position. In the second position, I need to see what's going down right now in the zodiac sign of Aries. Where do they stand in their love life? Um, is there any unfinished business, any new events that's happening? And in the third position, I need 100% accuracy as to what is going to happen in the month of February for the zodiac sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's see. Okay, a little more, y'all. I really hope it comes out the way I'm doing it. Oh, it's amazing. All right, here we go. Do watch this video in its entirety because at the end I will pull special messages from your spirit guides from the wisdom of the oracle and the wisdom of the hidden realms, okay? All right, Ace of Cups. Page of Cups. The Tower. The World. The Moon. And the Five of Wands. Under the Ace of Cups, we got the High Priestess. Yeah, this is the same reading. Somewhat. Three of Swords. The Tower, Queen of Cups. Yep, same one. Under the World, we got the Page of Swords. Under the Moon, we have the Two of Wands. And under the Five of Wands is the Six of Wands. What's the advice that you have for the Aries that is dealing with the energy on this board? Six of Pentacles. Injustice. Okay, it's a little different. All right, here we go. Spirit cats, come forward for the zodiac sign of Aries. What is the advice that you have for the Aries that is dealing with this energy on the board? What should they do about their partners and their current situation? The eyes of beauty. We'll read that at the end. All right. Spirit cats, come forward for the zodiac sign of Aries. What is the advice that you have for Aries that is going through the energy on the board? What should they do about their partners and their current situation? Yang. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so first of all, what I was basically stating is that there's a lot of you Aries that have a relationship going with a particular individual right now. The energies that came out on the board last time I did this. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to look this shit up. Because this is not, it's, it's back too far. I usually pause the video to do this. Hold on, y'all. Sorry about that, Aries. Okay, so you have a partner that you're involved with. The two energies that came up was Leo, Sagittarius, as well as Cancer Pisces. All right? Now, what I feel is that for a lot of you, Aries, those of you that are involved with Leo and Sagittarius, you got some interference that's coming in the middle of this relationship. And that person is Cancer Pisces. Okay? Now, Let's just say that the shoe is on the other foot and you're dealing with Cancer Pisces, all right? Then the energy that is still on the board is that there is still some interference from Leo, Sagittarius, or Cancer Pisces, all right? So it could be double water, double fire, okay? Now, with the Ace of Cups and the High Priestess, this has been highlighted. I thought that I was dealing with just Taurus and Pisces, but I'm noticing that that whole pregnancy third-party situation is actually in the zodiac sign of Aries, okay? So, Aries is the partner 
to the person that stepped out and had a baby with a cancer Pisces, probably a Pisces, all right? Because that's the only ones that have popped up on board as being pregnant with fire signs babies, okay? All right, so um, what I feel is going on is that there is a, a, a sense of a little bit of jealousy, a little bit of worry on your part, Aries, okay? You're worried. If you are the woman, all right, this woman, not only could she possibly be pregnant by your significant other, but also for those of you that are not expecting babies in your relationship, then this is a uh, ex or this is a woman that he works with or she works with that is a little flirtatious. You're very, very worried. She's going to be in interference for the month of February, all right? Long story short, he, she, doesn't matter, all right? Um... This Queen of Cups is definitely going to be an interference. This Queen of Cups is definitely going to interrupt the relationship of Aries and Fire as well as Aries and Cancer Pisces. All right. Um, in the event that I'm dealing with two fire signs, all right, both Aries, Aries and Sag, Aries and Leo, I want you to take a really good look at your rising signs. Okay. Um, the rising sign could be that Aries is the rising sun and not the initial sun sign. The sun sign could be Cancer or Pisces, all right? Or it could be two Leos that's in a situation, two Sagittarius, two Aries, whatever the case may be. But one of their risings is Cancer Pisces, all right? So definitely focus on that. If you are a Cancer sun sign, your rising is in Aries. You are also going to be affected by this energy. If you're dealing with a Leo or Sagittarius, okay, you're going to be affected by this energy because what it states to me is that, okay, even though you're a Cancer Sun, your rising is in Aries, your partner is a Leo or a Sagittarius, both partners is Leo or one partner is a Leo, Sagittarius, and then you have two Cancers or a Cancer and Pisces that is going at it for this Leo, all right? So, like I said, it might not be, what is she calling me for? It might not be that I'm talking to Aries directly, Aries sun, all right? I might be talking to um, Aries risers, all right? Now, the whole conundrum, the whole theme here on board is that I am dealing with Aries, sun and rising, that is going to be affected by Cancer Pisces, your relationship, your happy home, which you consider to be happy there's an there's a um interference and it's definitely due to children all right children are interfering in these relationships if you're dealing with a leo sagittarius cancer pisces whatever you got kids by this person or you guys you know have a child or already had a child or maybe someone is pregnant right now all right it kind of sits to me that your relationship was running smoothly and then all of a sudden there was interference your relationship fell apart it fell apart temporarily, all right? What I said in the last reading is I do not want you, Aries, to automatically just leave this Leo, Sagittarius alone, or Cancer Pisces, whoever your significant other is. I don't want you to leave them alone because they will be back. It's a temporary break in the relationship due to the fact that the karma has to be settled between the children, all right? So this is with the child. You have to remember that when we have children, we are shaping their lives as well. Eventually, those children are going to grow up to be adults, what happens in their childhood shapes their karmic energy that they're going to have to deal with with their partners once they get grown enough, okay? So what I'm looking at is Aries that have children with Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer Pisces, whatever the child, you know, father or mother is, okay? However, the other partner has not been very relevant, okay? I don't know why I'm looking at this Cancer upside down. Definitely Cancer Leo. Um, I, this partner has not been very relevant in the child's life, okay? So what Spirit is doing is bringing this partner, these two people back together. They're bringing these people back together. And you may feel like you're being spited, Aries. You may feel like you're losing your partners. But that's not the case. You're only losing them temporarily so that they can reconcile with the children. All right? Another thing that's coming up that's highlighted this month is that a lot of you Aries are going to find out that your partner has a Pisces pregnant, okay? Or if you are the Aries, you are the man, you have a Pisces pregnant, all right? You're going to find that out. I have been screaming about that 
for the last month, okay, because that's when it showed up in the cards. And then looking at the five of wands, six of wands, <clears throat> this is interference. We got the moon and the two of wands. The two of wands is about the relationship that's already there. The moon is the delusion. So you thought that you were, your partner was faithful. You thought that your partner was happy. And then you're coming out and you're finding out, you know what? I got competition now. All right, Aries. I got a little cup. What the hell is that? Oh, shit. A little flag, y'all. Hold on. A little baby gnat. You know, it's getting warm because a little baby gnat came in. Anyway, so, um, yeah. So... You're finding out that you got a little bit of interference. You know, you 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 have a little bit of competition. All right, some of you Aries are going to be um, a little afraid because your partner has an ex that is Cancer Pisces that is trying to work their way back into their lives. And that's making you very nervous because you don't know whether this person is going to leave you for that other person. Because some of you Aries don't have children with these people. All right? You don't have children with these people. Go lay down. What the hell are you doing? Go potty in the bathroom if you got to go potty. Okay. Um, sorry about that. Um, some of you Aries, you don't have children with these people. All right? And... This Cancer Pisces have a child with your significant other, and they may be using the child as a means to pull him out of bed at night or pull her out away from you at night, okay? Um, and that's causing you to be a little bit afraid, whereas Aries is usually a very confident sign. They usually... Most people don't leave Aries, you know, like especially Aries women. Like, they really know how to hold on to their men because they are great at homemaking, OK, so I don't feel that you have anything to really be jealous of. And what is supposed to happen is going to happen. And it has nothing to do with the romance. It has nothing to do about, OK, well, my ex is still in love with his ex or they're still fucking. No, it has everything to do with the child and co-parenting and making sure that, you, you know, you can um, fix that child's karma. All right. So it's shaping for the future is what's going down. OK, um, like I said, a lot of you, you're going to um, get some interference this month. Definitely it's going to come out that your partner has a child with uh, Pisces, Pisces, I feel Pisces very strongly. OK, for those of you that are going to be surprised with the babies, it's, it's Aries that are dealing with Pisces or Aries that are dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, Aries like yourself that are have relations with Pisces. Okay. It's Pisces. I'm trying to make it clear. Clarify that five of wands. If you don't, if your partner's not Leo, Sagittarius, um, Cancer, Pisces, then you don't have to worry. I'm not talking to you. Oh shit. Also, another thing that's coming up is that this person lives a distance. All right. We got justice, the chariot. This person lives a distance from you, the emperor. Okay. Now, it could also be, let's just say that um, I'm dealing with an Aries man, all right? And his woman is a Leo. And her baby's father has recently resurfaced in her life. And he is a Pisces, okay? Or he is a Cancer, all right? Like I said, I don't want you to fly off the handle and think, oh, well, this thing is not going to happen between us because she's back with her baby's father, all right? No. They are back together for closure for the child. The child is not old enough to be able to, you know, just pick up and live with their father. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like th the mother is going to have to get involved. Okay. It's going to have to be involved. All right. Give me that six of wands. I feel like the father, the baby's father has returned. See, Cancer Pisces, I'm telling you, on that six of wands. I feel like whoever your partner is, I feel like I'm looking at Aries that are dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, or other Cancer Pisces. But if you're dealing with Cancer Pisces, their significant other, baby's father, happens to be a water sign too. And they're returning in their lives. All right? And there's a little bit of jealousy, a little bit of uh, uh, brooding or, or chest poking out with the men. Okay. And I'm telling you, you don't have anything to worry about because this woman is not sexually into her baby's father. She's not looking to get back together in a relationship. Okay. He's already done his damage. He's already devastated her. And now it's more so about the kid that they share together. Clarify the queen of cups. 
Queen of Swords and the King of Cups. I'm telling you, <laughs> Linda. Linda. Give me that Queen of Swords. Hold on, y'all. Let me make sure this is not Libra. The World and the Page of Swords. Okay, no. This is not Libra. It could be for some of y'all. For a small select few of you, your partner may be Libra, Aries. All right? Libra or Gemini. Okay? And a baby's father, baby's mother is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Okay? Maybe Pisces. Pisces is really highlighted here. I promise you it's Pisces. Okay? Um, what this says to me is that also, this could be that it's not Libra and Gemini. It just could be that you have, uh, you're have you very skeptical of this Pisces cancer person because you know that they're there to ruin your family. You know, you don't trust your, your boyfriend or your wife to go to this cancer Pisces house without you. You don't trust them because you can sense a mile away that this woman is after your home, after your man. This man is after your woman. Okay? Now... Also, what I feel is that this woman, I think that this Queen of Swords popping up like this, is also trying to let a lot of you Aries know that if there is, in fact, a Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, whatever, that you're involved with, and then recently you broke up, it was a new thing that just started off, and, and then recently you broke up because of the baby's father, the ex, returning, okay, I'm showing you this woman, you got a lot of shit on your brain, okay? You got a lot of things that you're thinking is going down over there. I'm sorry, I'm trying to fuck this fly up. You got a lot of things. I got this light behind me, y'all. Hold on. I think I got it. I fucked him up. It was a little, you ever see those little tiny ass nuts? <clears throat> I got this light right behind me, okay? It's like right behind this camera. Okay, like studio lights. And the fly was attracted to it. So anyway, back to what I was saying. You got this image in your head that they're getting back together. She's still in love with him. He's still in love with her. They want to be together. They're living happily ever after. I mean, you got this crazy ass shit going on in your head. And I'm here to tell you it's not going down like that. This woman is very skeptical of this man. She does not want this man back. She does not want to be with him. She does not trust him. Okay? As far as a relationship goes, she's completely done. This is her bitter side. This is, oh, hell no, okay? Now, I might be talking to maybe a cross-watcher. Maybe you're Leo Sagittarius and your woman is Aries and her baby's father or, you know, baby's mama happen to be Cancer Pisces and you see these two people coming back together and you're thinking that they want to get back together. You're thinking that she's still sleeping with him or whatever the case may be, and I promise you it's not that. I promise you it's all about co-parenting, okay? The two parents have to come together for the uh, child, but the relationship between the two of them is over. All right. So don't be so quick to accuse your partner. OK, if you are a cross watcher or if you are Aries and you're involved with, you know, fire sign or water, don't be so quick to accuse your partner. Just sit back and wait because there's nothing that you can really do. This is God's business. This is spirit's business. They're orchestrating this. OK, this has nothing to do with romance and cheating and infidelity. This is everything about the child and fixing this child's life for the future. All right. So you're just going to have to wait. There's nothing you can do about it. I mean, I can't even touch this. Like, I want to give you guys advice, but there's really no advice I can give you when, when it's God's business. You just have to sit back and just let the cards fall where they may. If you be a little patient, you're going to see that this person is going to return back to you. But for now, there's going to be competition. There's going to be breakups for the month of February. Okay? It's going to look like your partner is going back to their baby's father, baby mama, something like that. Okay? Also, like I said, for some of you Aries, you're going to be devastated this month. You're going to be devastated because you're going to find out the same woman that you do not like, that you've been skeptical about, the Queen of Cups, Cancer Pisces, that your boyfriend works with or has children previously with your boyfriend or whatever. You've already been afraid of this woman and now you're finding out she's interfering again. She's pregnant again with his baby. Something like that. You understand? You're going to find that out for the month of February, okay, for a lot of you. Six of Pentacles and Justice is karmic law. Like I said, we can't touch it. There's nothing that we can do about it. You just have to let the chips fall where they may. There are times in life where certain things or certain events are meant to play out, and there's nothing that you can do. You can use crystals. You can try to voodoo shit. None of that shit is going to work, all right, because this is 
God's business. This is spirit's business. They're doing this. They have a divine purpose. This is a divine purpose in effect. Okay. Another thing could be that you want to be with this person and you're madly in love with this person, but you don't realize this person has problems with endurance. This person doesn't trust anyone. This person, you know, they've been raped or hurt by their ex. And now this person is coming back into their life so that they can heal that. So you can have a better relationship with this person. All right. That's the purpose of it. You need to have a better relationship. Well, before you can have a better relationship, she, he needs to reconcile with the person that hurt them. Got me? All right, y'all. I hope this is recording. Let me look. Yeah. Shit. I would be mad as hell if it wasn't recording, y'all. All right, so. The advice from the spirit, guys. We're going to start with the eyes of the beauty. From the wisdom of the hidden realms. This is card number 25. Here we go. When the eyes of beauty shows up as your ally, they require you to examine your perception. Do you see the world as perfect and beautiful? Can you retrace your steps from the past to now and see the perfection in the way reality has been created? Truly, perception is everything. A glass half empty is the same as a glass half full, yet so different according to how it's perceived. The eyes of beauty remind you that if you move forward with conviction, all is well now and always will be. You will see true prosperity as a result. Expect to see be beauty and you will attract your highest good. I'm going to read the challenger of this card because I think that this is going to resonate a lot more. As a challenger, the eyes of beauty are a sign that self-centered fear expressed through harsh judgment is behind your current circumstances. So this is for those of y'all you think, oh my God, the ex is coming back. They're going to be fucking. They're going to be doing this and all that. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing only the flaws in your circumstances or in another person? Are you looking at what is wrong instead of what could be made right? If you take some time to adjust your eyes and see things exactly as they are, you cannot help but admire their perfection. Release your expectations and demands. And with the truth of the way things are now, you're whole and beautiful and perfect. And what you observe is too. It may not be exactly what you want, but perhaps in shifting your vision, you will find clarity and will see that it's exactly what you need at this time. A total shift is perception. A total shift in perception is what is required now. Okay, that's for the eyes of beauty. Let's move on to the yang card. Divine masculine. Yin is female, Yang is male. Here we go. Here we go. See? The masculine principle of movement and creative creative activity. The power to make things happen, taking action. The Oracle's message, Yang represents the power of action, the energies that propel the world forward and manifest in thought and desire into concrete form. Now is the perfect time to act, for you can easily build momentum and make headway. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. This card signifies new life and is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. And for the protection message, because this would be in reverse, okay? Be mindful of the tendency towards impulsive action, overconfidence, and aggressive behavior. Think before you act, lest you find yourself in a situation that will lead to uncomfortable consequences. Be sure you really want what you're chasing after, because you might be sorry when you get it. The appearance of this card isn't cause for fear, for life is all about learning lessons. Practice temperance, diplomacy, and thoughtful consideration before making a move. So I hope that resonated with you guys. I love you so much. Make sure you like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification bell. And if you want a personal reading, hit me up. All seeing at tarot at gmail.com. Take advantage of that spiritual analysis so you can definitely understand your circumstances a lot better. Until next time, thank you, Aries.